Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on Informatica MDM. When we work on Informatica MDM project, we need to work on various components or various product which comes with Informatica MDM. In such case, your team member or your project manager might ask the question related to what are the components on which we need to work in order to implement the master data management solution. In order to address such kind of questions or to know what all possible components are associated with Informatica MDM, I have created this tutorial. So let's start. Informatica MDM has two main components. One is database component which stores the metadata which we store in the ORS called CMX system and the other ORS or other schema called operational reference store where we store the business data. This database can be made built using the Oracle database or it can be a DB2 or it can be a SQL server. The second important component of the Informatica MDM is nothing but application server. On this application server, we install various MDM components such as a process server, hub server and so on. This application server can be on JBoss or WebLogic or WebSphere. Once we install or once we have this core component, on top of that, we can install the additional components. The additional components, nothing but the ActiveOS. ActiveOS is used for the process management purpose and it has its own database. This database can be Oracle, DB2 or SQL Server based on your project implementation. But normally, if you are using Oracle on your MDM side, we use the similar database on the ActiveOS side as well. This ActiveOS contains three main components or three main applications. The very first application is called ActiveOS Designer. It is Eclipse based designer tool which can be used to build the workflows. Then we have the ActiveOS console for the administration purpose. And the third component is ActiveOS Central. ActiveOS Central it is a user interface. Normally, data steward used to use this application, but when the ActiveOS was taken over by Informatica, since then the ActiveOS Central is not getting used anymore. However, that component is still get installed when we install ActiveOS. Now, once we have this basic main components, then we can add the additional part because once we master the data that need to be consumed by some additional or external applications and for that Informatica provides services integration framework. These are the APIs or the Java classes can be used in any other Java application or any other web service application where they can use these APIs to perform the operations such as search, read, write, update etc. Then we have the IDD Configuration Manager or Info it is also known as Informatica Data Director Configuration Manager. Prior to 10.1, the user interface used by Data Steward was called as an Informatica Data Director or Subject Area Based IDD Application. And that IDD application was built using IDD Configuration Manager. It is again a web application where we can configure the subject areas and using those subject area, we can configure the IDD or Informatica Data Director application. Informatica Data Director, it's a data steward application. By using this application, data steward can read the record, can update the record and perform data related activities. This IDD application also get integrated with the ActiveOS in order to manage the tasks. However, when we started using MDM 10.x version, it started coming with the, a component called as the business entity services. Business entity services are the REST web services because using the REST web services are better than the SOAP based web services, which is also a part of Informatica MDM. But 10.x onward, we use the business entity services, which are REST web services. These REST web services are built based on the provisioning tool configuration. 
So whatever we configure in the provisioning tool, such as business entity, business entity views, business entity transformation, and so on. So th these business entity services are based on the what we configure in the provisioning tool, especially business entities. The provisioning tool also used to configure the NTT 360 application. So NTT 360 application and Informatica Data Director application, they are quite similar, but data, Informatica Data Director application are very rarely used. Instead of that, NTT 360 applications are getting used and NTT 360 applications are built using the provisioning tool. So all these are the components and they have their own underlying technologies. So these are the all the components or the product which comes with the Informatica MDM. Internally, they have their own technologies being used. Now, once we have this core component or the core application, this application also integrate with the other external applications or the other external products. Now, along with these all basic component it in order to apply the addition logic or to extend the functionality we can use the user exit user exits are nothing but the interfaces or the the classes or the java classes provided by informatica those can be used to extend the functionality of informatica mdm hub processes as well as you can extend the functionality of Informatica Data Director. On the other hand, in order to add the more functionality to the NTT 360 application, we develop the microservices and register those as services and use in the NTT 360 application. So along with this all core components and these user exits, we also interact with some other Informatica product. And these products are SSN M3, which is a match engine or proprietary match engine getting used in Informatica MDM hub in order to achieve the match process. Then we can integrate the Informatica MDM with the Informatica data quality in order to achieve the better quality of data. Then we have the power center for bringing the data from the source to MDM landing tables. The address doctor is also used to clean the addresses and make them more standardized version. We can also implement the dynamic data masking for data security purpose. And then finally, we can use the Elasticsearch with the Entity 360 application for achieving the global search. So the, these all products comes with the Informatica, but there are some additional product we also need to use for automation purpose. And for that, we can use either Control M or the Tidal or any other automation tool to execute the job from the source system till the MDM. For achieving the publishing job, we can use the JMS queues or you can use the business entity services or the REST APIs for integrating the external application, the MDM. So this is about the components which we need to deal with Informatica MDM implementation.